There's been an accident. A small plane went down near the Isle of Wight. Megan and Sebastian were among the passengers, and there were no survivors. How are we gonna make it through this? We will. Squib meant it when he said those words. After all, time heals all wounds. But how can time work its magic when it seems to be standing still? Someone needs a hug! Get off me! Oh, not this again. An emotional outburst is key to the evolution of the grieving process. Don't get all Dr. Phil on me. I'm fine. <laughs> fine? I haven't even seen you react once. Sebastian was your best friend. And it sucks beyond words, but I'm over it. Behold the face of denial! My life is tennis. Just like it was, just like it always will be. Last chance. See you at breakfast. You try hard. Yeah, you try hard to impress them. But then they're gone. Yeah, they don't even know your name. Name the game. They give you what to play today. It's the same. Just one step, please. Some other time. <sighs> you know, when we were kids, you were always the rebellious one. The thing is, Adina, I grew up. Come in. Anyone up for a picnic? Ten. 47. That's when the plane went down. The news took nine hours to reach us. And for some reason, I, I keep trying to figure out exactly what I was doing that exact moment in time. You know, hoping it would be something meaningful. And? I was having a spitting contest with Pete Selica. I, I can pinpoint the moment. Lugie hits the air. Sebastian's alive. Lugie hits the ground and, well, everything changed. We don't have to be ashamed, Squib. It's kind of ironic if you think about it. Now that he's gone, there's an opening in the A group again. It's kind of like it was his final present to me. Question is, are you gonna open it? Last Halloween, Meg's bracelet, remember? <laughs> she was supposed to be Wonder Woman, but she got this weird reaction to her supersonic shielding plates. <laughs> yeah, and then the whole night we kept calling her Rash, Rash Woman. Woman. <laughs> Could Meg's be any happier? Every picture, she's laughing. Sometimes I think I hear it in the halls. Oh, I almost forgot. Present for you, left in the hallway. Presents are good. Holy cats, Cody! Yep. Figured this place could use a little warming up. Mm. Oh, look at 
Look, this will be perfect. Don't touch that! What? Put it back, everything. Yeah. Those are Megan's things. It's not a race, Squib. Whatever, me. I'm diving headfirst into this whole life thing. Mm -hmm. By not bothering to chew? I'm enjoying every moment, tasting every noodle. Even if said noodle happens to be a hybrid of yesterday's pasta and Tuesday's so-called Irish stew. Mind if I join you clowns? So, what's with the goofy rackets? It's the wall of fame, Cluckwad. He was just asking a question. Yeah, and I was just informing him it was stupid. You guys duke it out, okay? I'm gonna check on Adina. Look, like it or not, I'm here to stay. I just talked to Guns this morning. He's transferring me to the aid dorm as soon as the room's available. So check this out. The new CNC Windjammer 3000. Brand spanking new. If you're up for hitting a few this aft, I'd love to take this baby for a spin. This friend of mine, he hated fancy rackets. Then what's your point? Even with this crappy racket, he would have whooped you to the ground. Good for your friend. Too bad you couldn't. Who says I can't? Care to put your money where your mouth is? It's weird, you know? The moments that keep coming back to you. I can still hear it. The way the ball fell out of Coach Gunnison's fingers when he told us. The sound of it hitting the pavement. People often magnify the details during a moment of recognition. They say it's a way to hold on to the pain. Well, for sure beats Adina's method. How's that? She just sits there like a log, not even bothers to get out of bed. She should get a new roommate and fast. How about you? I'm fine, Dad. Come on, sweetie. I haven't seen you pick up your camera once since it happened. Well, maybe I don't feel like it anymore. You know, you can talk to me. You can't be my dad and my shrink. Open up to me, brother. Dude, I was gargling. This no. is not to be taken lightly, Buster. You think President Bates would have assigned me to your room without reason? Hmm? I didn't think so. Until you've shown me that you've grieved and moved on from this. You're stuck with me as a roommate. Can't a guy just deal with things in his own way? Not on my watch. I keep smiling. Are you gonna be at the open later? Can't. Gotta work on that backhand. Adina, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm tired. Come in, Cody. I'm Tannis. So? Your new roomie? How could you do this to me? You know I'm not ready. Adina, this was a complete misunderstanding. <laughs> and not even bothering to tell me? What kind of school is this? You were supposed to be told first. I know that you were close to Megan. This is completely my fault. Tannis was not due to arrive until tomorrow. So you'll get rid of her? Dina, Tannis McTaggart is a recent transfer from Brentwood Tennis School. We're very lucky to have her. I'm afraid I can't do that. <gasps> but this is so not fair. Actually, I spoke with Dr. Myers, and he feels that you are ready for a new roommate. And I agree. Whatever gave him that idea. Don't do it! Too much to live for! But I do lots every day. You're messed up! I can feel your pain! Get a hold of yourself, man. Oh, I don't know who's more annoying, you or Cameron. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, Cameron situation. A classic example of transference. Transference? Transference. Your dislike for Cameron represents the dislike for yourself. It's all because the campster knocked you out of group A. But I'm back in. Are you? All right, you are. But that's not the point. The point is, until you be Cameron, you won't learn to love yourself. Besides, you... So what, now you're high lordess of my emotional state? It slipped out. It was supposed to be confidential. It slipped out? Your dad is on staff. You should have known better. Yeah, and I was having a private conversation. Maybe this is one of those times where 
the universe turns inside out and Bates is actually right. We are talking President Bates, right? It's been a month. So what am I supposed to do with this new roommate? I don't know. Try talking to her. Maybe she'll help you stop thinking about Megan all the time. Have you ever stopped to consider that maybe I don't want to? If you have any posters, not on that wall, that wall, or that wall. Right. And nothing on this table either. Please, that, that was Megan's private spot. So where am I supposed to put my stuff? Voila! So, tennis. What kind of name is that? Scottish, I think. Sure you didn't make it up just so you could use the phrase tennis, anyone? I don't get it. It sounds like tennis. Yeah, I know. You need to focus. What do you want from me? Hey. You up for a game? Now come on, show me what you're made of. Everybody thinks I can just move on like them, but it's not the same. I've known Meg since I was four. We were like sisters, more than sisters. We were sisters who chose each other. Choosters, sis choosies. Okay, that's not working, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. The grieving process is as individual as fingerprints. Then why do I feel all this pressure to be happy? It's not a race. That's not what Max would have said. Listen, I'm I'm sorry about earlier. Don't sweat it. I guess I didn't much like being knocked down to Group B, but I'm back now. <sighs> Who the? Tan is something. Some new chick. Group A? But of course. Are we in the right group or what? For what it's worth. Our last match was whack anyways. Way too much pressure. Everybody watching? I agree. That's why I propose a rematch. No agents, no coaches, no refs. Just me and you. You serious? Back courts after practice. You are serious. See you there. Come on, knees up, and that means everyone. Okay, that's all, folks. Hit the showers. Thank you. Adina, a word. I appreciate you hurting, Adina. We all are, but if you're not going to bring your game, don't come. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all you're going to say? A student I once knew never let the outside world affect the way she played. Well, Megs is gone now, isn't she? I'm not talking about Megan, Adina. I'm talking about you. Ask yourself, would Megan want to see you like this? Hey, yeah. Can't everybody just get off my back? Relax, Adina. I just wanted to apologize. What I said earlier came out wrong. It's OK. How's the new roommate? It's all the personality of a dried sponge. That's too bad. Listen, uh, we're going to do the car thing tonight, 7 o'clock at the open. You're in? I don't think so. Oh, come on, Adina. It's been a whole month, and you never come out except for classes and practice. The world doesn't stop just because you do. Look, I'm just not ready. When will you be? I don't know. But when it happens, you'll know.
freezing out here, man. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Let's just say I got something to prove. To you. Look, Cody, I know you and I have no reason to talk much, but if you ever wanted to unload... Thanks, Coach Gunnison, but I don't think you'd understand. Pictures of Megan and Sebastian, right? Okay, that was lucky. I took a few photos before they left for the Hampstead. Yeah, the thing about living is there's always undeveloped pictures in your future. Meaning what? I'm not sure. But maybe that's your way of keeping them alive. Tell you what, even though I'm one stroke away from winning the game, what say we call it a draw? We're finishing this. Now serve! I want a rematch. Game over. I want a rematch! I want a rematch! <laughs> That racket you're holding, that's not Sebastian. He beat you. I swear he'd clean your clock. Would have. He's dead. My mother died when I was eight. I never cried. Good for you, real tough guy. I'm sure you're happy. Not crying was the worst thing I ever did. For what it's worth. You'd have blown me out of the water if you'd used your own racket. When me and Sebastian first met, we hated each other. But he still asked me to be his roommate. He said, he said he liked to take the hard road. So, still looking for a new roommate. Where's that insane ranting female Mac and roll on crack chick I saw out there on the courts? Why don't I see her in real life? I don't know. Come on, Tannis. Don't. You're hiding something. Okay, you wanna hear it? You think it's fun being a replacement for Megan O'Connor? Thing I actually requested you as my roommate after we played. You had so 
much life out there, and now all you do is just sit there like a log. If I were in your shoes, I would get myself out of bed, even if it meant hitching myself on the back of a train. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You. Tennis, will you help me with something? I'm ready for the Rickster. Come on. Let it all. Oh, yeah, you were right. You were right all along. Only now do I realize I'm ready for the, you know. The next stage of grieving. Exactly. Exactly. Thanks to you and your greatness, I have confronted my pain. Freeing you to take your expertise elsewhere. There, there. Let, let, let it all out. Yeah. Everything one last week. You should keep it. No, I'm ready to let it go. someone close to you, a lot of energy is spent trying to figure out how to act. Maybe there's no right way. Maybe the best way to honor the dead is to go right on living. Besides who got the gold and who 